Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss one FAQ. So, that is so where we use exactly try with multiple catch blocks, right? See, so we know how to use a try with multiple catch blocks, but the question is where we use, right? So, where we use a try with a multi catch, the multi catch. So, first I will write the syntax. I will write the syntax. Here it is in exception handling. So, one try block, one try block can have n number of catch blocks. So, because to handle uh, the different types of exceptions so occurred in different types of statements, this is try, and here it is a catch block, and this is exception 1 handling code. This is a logic, any logic we can write here and this is next catch block and this is exception to handling e2 and next here it is we are writing the logic so we are writing the logic here it is a one try block can have n number of catch blocks so why for example in the second instruction there is a chance of getting exception 1 chance of getting getting exception 1 just consider in this line in the second line exception 1 has raised. So, then the control directly so jump to the catch block and it will handle that exception means what whatever the logic we have written inside the catch block. So, will be executed. So, after executing the catch block the control never back to try block this is important never back right it is wrong after execution of one catch block the control so move to the so logic which we have written followed by all the catch blocks so here in a line number 2 if exception has raised the control will move to that particular catch block and it will execute this catch block execute and after executing this catch block the control never back to the try block to continue with the remaining statements Sir, why? What is the reason for that? So, one example we should discuss. So, then only you can understand easily. Okay, see, right. So, with this example, so you can understand exactly where we use a try with multi catch also. See, for example, so one task is having so many steps. So, like one ATM transaction, just if you take, right, it contains so many steps, right, to process. So, first for example, the task is task is so open a file. So, after opening the file, second step is just write some information inside that file and next last step is just send in the network, send in the network. So, one step one means what one task contains three steps. So, now we have to perform, but see in three uh, different steps chance of getting three different exceptions three different runtime errors. So, what are the three? So, here it is we are writing the try block. In a try block, the so first we are trying to opening the file. This is the operation we are performing. Imagine if file is not there. So, chance of getting exception file not present with the name file is not there. So, it is an exception. So, we have to handle suppose in the catch block, catch block we are handling. So, one example we are writing the file not found exception, file not found exception. So, any logic, the so, reason why it has failed, so we are writing generally in a catch block, reason file not present, task failed. See, after executing the particular catch block, so, why sir the control is never back to the try block means just consider things generally. Whenever we are trying to open the file, if file is not present, can you write the information? So, where you will write the information? Second step obviously is writing information only. If file is not there, how you can write the information? No. So, so we can stop performing the task here only in the first step only. Just consider if file is there. So, no exception while opening the file, file is present. So, now the control come to that second step. So, that is writing information. 
writing information. Suppose just consider while writing the information this is read only file, this is the problem you will face read only file. Okay. So, means what if it is a read only file, so then again problem how can you write the information exception. So, for that you have to write one more catch block just like a security exception and here it is, here it is this is read only file, read only file exception. So, task failed, so like that we will write. So, while opening the file no problem and while writing the information is also no problem. So, then we can send in the net network that means what we can continue with a, the third step here it is just sending in the network sending in the network. Now, you can guess. So, what type of problem you will face while sending in the network? A simple connection lost suddenly. So, we lost the data connection then how you will send in the network is not possible. So, so again one more catch block you have to handle. So, that is the network exception. So, so while performing a task in different types of uh, means what exceptions you will face while performing a single task for example, ATM transaction. Whenever you insert the ATM card the chance of getting an exception unauthorized card exception. Suppose, if the card is authorized, so then it will move to the next step right enter your pin number. Suppose, if you enter invalid pin number again invalid exception and suppose, if you enter a valid pin next it will ask enter amount to withdraw. For example, if sufficient funds are not there so, chance of getting insufficient funds exceptions there is only one transaction you are going to perform, but in the background while application is running chance of getting n number of exceptions in a single transaction. So, in that situation we should go for try with the multiple catch blocks. Okay. So, hope you understood. So, why right we are using a try with multi catch and where we are using a try with multi catch exactly. Okay. So, thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to Naresh Adi channel. Thank you.